Hi, and thanks for tuning in for today's Connect Video Tuesday, February 7th. And a uh, couple of things to remind you of. We're launching some small groups uh, right now. Um, started this past Sunday. There's also some vacancies in many of our existing groups. So if uh, you're wanting to get into a small group, now is the time to do that. So you can call the office or check out the website uh, and the app, and uh, that will give you all kinds of info on joining a small group. Vacation Bible School is returning this summer, and June 12th to the 16th is the week that's being um, that, that's happening. And uh, lots of ways you can help. So if you want to serve in some capacity, all that planning and everything else is going on right now. So if you want to help and serve in some capacity, contact Kim Burko, and there's her email address there on the screen, and uh, she'd love to have you on the team. And also our church app, we've updated the app, as we've, as we've mentioned over the past uh, number of weeks, and uh, it's personalized now uh, for each one of us. All you have to do is go into your dashboard, click on my dashboard, and uh, fill out the information there. The one time is all you have to fill out some of the security info, uh, and then it'll be a personalized experience and help you uh, in your Christian walk, so it's a great way to personalize that for each one of us. So that's happening. Make sure you've downloaded the app and uh, get to the dashboard and fill out that information. So today I want to take some time here and uh, walk through some information about the church plant. As you know, our church is work working toward planting a church. And one of the frequent questions that we are hearing is, Hey, what's the timeline for this? You know, when will this new church be planted? When's it going to start? So in today's video, I'm going to take some time and kind of talk over the timeline for launching. And um, so just want to help you a little bit. I'm going to direct you to the church website and the uh, church plant webpage. Uh, but let's, let's walk through what does the timeline look like for planting a church? So right now, in the first part of 2023, uh, we, meaning the church leadership, we are trying to have conversations with people in the church about the plant. We're trying to answer questions uh, that people have about it, concerns that they have about it, trying to address those and talk through those. We're just trying to have a lot of discussions on the topic, really, at this point right now. So if you have questions about the church plant, if you have concerns about planting a church, please make sure you talk to one of the elders. Uh, you can talk with Mike Fister, who's, he served a couple of terms as our, uh, as an elder, was our elder chair until he had to rotate off the, this last year. And uh, so he's kind of running point for us in some ways on the church plant. Uh, he's also on the preaching team here at the church. So Mike's a, a guy that understands what's happening here at the church. So one of the elders, talk to Mike Fister or talk to myself or one of the other pastors. Um, we would be happy to have those conversations and talk about the plant with you. Now, timeline-wise, when the church has a sense, when we have a sense that the congregation is supportive of moving forward here, then we will begin the search for a church plant pastor. Um, when, we, when we hire a church plant pastor, that'll become something the membership of the church votes on. Uh, so, so that's kind of the the beginnings of the process. Now, giving a timeline from today is a really difficult, if not impossible, thing because A, we haven't started the search process to find that church plant pastor yet. All right? We're still gauging the congregation support. B, we don't know how long the pastoral search process will take. It can take four months. It can take six months, 12 months, hopefully not. <laughs> But we, we don't know how long it will take from when we actually get word out and start to, to search to actually finding and then hiring and then the vote and everything else. Now, I will give an estimated timeline to you here in this video from when the church plant pastor is hired or starts his ministry here at CDOBC, okay? Um, so let me give you a quick disclaimer, though, all right? I cannot cover every detail of the plant process in a video like this, because that would be an extremely long video. 
Uh, so please give me some grace as I try and cover some of the just main timeline points. Okay. Now the model that we are using to plan and plant the church is that the church plant pastor or the CPP. Everything's an acronym today, right? <laughs> Uh, the CPP will work for our church for about six to nine months, probably. Uh, that'll be in, in kind of an associate pastor role. He will oversee a handful of ministries and will do some occasional preaching. Um, after that six to nine months, because we've he's got to get to know us and we've got to get to know him. He's got to get to know the area, those kinds of things, right? After that six to nine months, we will then unleash him to work 100% on the church plan. During that time, he'll be working on developing a core team, um, planning for what, where will the location be, other crucial details of the church plan. What are the key ministries they're going to have when they launch? We've got to find people who are going to lead those ministries and so on. That part of the process when we unleash the, the church plant pastor to work 100% on the plant, that's a six to nine month, maybe 12 month process in itself. And you have to know, there are certain launch windows, all right? When, it, when a spaceship is scheduled for takeoff, uh, they have to determine when the launch windows are based on weather and a number of other factors. You can't just, anytime you want, launch the spaceship, right? Well, that similar principle, if you will, applies to church plants. There's certain windows that are helpful and are conducive to start a church, to launch a church. Those three launch windows tend to be, uh, the first one would be fall. Uh, so, so for us here in Arizona, that's August, September time frame. The second one's the beginning of the year, January, somewhere in the beginning of the year. And the third one is around Easter. So those are typically the three launch windows that we have for launching or starting a new church. Obviously, you can imagine, you know, trying to do that in, in in July 1st here in Tucson or in Arizona is hard because, right, everyone's on vacation, it's hot and everything else. So there's certain launch windows in the year that fit in with the rhythm of life and calendars and schedules and school and all kinds of other factors that play into this. So those are the three main launch windows. So let me plot out for you some a timeline um, according to kind of some of the things I've just covered there, all right? Now, these, this timeline, as you can see here, it starts when the church plant pastor, the CPP, begins his ministry with our church. So uh, let's say if we begin the pastoral search this coming summer, and let's say for the sake of the illustration here, that we hire the CPP in November or December of 23, and so in January 24, they start their ministry here. That'll be six to nine months that they will then minister in that associate pastor role working for CDO Bible Church, right? The next point in the timeline then would be September or thereabouts of, of 24, where the church plant pastor will be unleashed to focus 100% on the plant developing the core team, developing key ministries, location, all of these other details. Remember, launch windows, there's certain launch windows. So if, if, if he starts working 100% in September of 24, January of 25 is probably a little bit too early. That's only about four months, and they probably need six months or nine months or so. So the options are going to be, according to this illustration timeline, Easter of 2025 or the fall of 2025. All right, so as you can see, this is not a hurried or a frantic process at all. It's a very deliberate process. I don't think it's too slow. It can't be too fast either. It it feels too slow to me sometimes because I'm eager, but but it's it's a deliberate process. It's intentional. There's a lot of prayer involved. There's a core team that needs to be developed, planning the location of the plant, the key ministries, the ministry leaders. There's a lot that has to happen. Now, the great news is we have a great team helping us with all this. I mean, first, we have you. 
th this church has been amazing with different challenges that have been presented to it, and we've just been able to to focus on those and and pursue those things and accomplish those tasks. So, you are the key to this. Secondly, we've been blessed with very wise and very capable leaders in our church. All right. They, they will give great guidance and great wisdom uh, and bring some really good experience into this whole plant process. Third, we have Dr. Bob Logan, who's our consultant. He's one of the church planting gurus in the United States, and, and he is our church plant consultant. Fourth, we have resources and experienced people within our association that are standing with us and ready to help as needed, right? So we've got some people to lean into that work in this area of church planting, and we're going to utilize their feedback, their wisdom, their experience in the process. And fifth, and certainly not last, but primarily, we have a God whose mission has been from the very beginning of human history to reach the nations, to reconcile the world, to redeem people to himself. So we know that God is working, and he will continue to work in regard to this plant because it's right in line with the mission of reaching people with the gospel. So I think we're in a great shape, but that gives you a sense of what the timeline would look like. Now, a couple of things. First of all, there's a church plant prayer time this coming Thursday, uh, February 9th, Thursday night, um, and would love for you to be a part of that. That is going to be at 7 p.m. in rooms 3 and 4. And uh, so it's we're starting the prayer time um, for the plant. We'll do two a month uh, through May. So this is the Thursday night. There'll be a Sunday, I think, in a week and a half. We're doing the Sunday night. Uh, so this Thursday night, 7 p.m., room 3 and 4, this Thursday night, come and pray. There's also a web page that we have on our website. One of the pages there is a church plant page. So if you were to, uh, this is a, an image of that that page when you get to that. Um, and uh, it's, there's some information there. If you scroll down, there's some videos there. There's a, a, a number of, uh, a handful of articles you can read. There's also the dates and times for the church plant prayer times listed at the bottom of that page. So make sure you visit the church plant page on our website for more information and stay up to speed with what's happening. That's where we'll be posting things as we move forward. Lots going on, and hope that helps answer some questions in regard to the timeline. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this amazing opportunity before us. It's a challenge. Lord, help us to be faithful and obedient to the call. Help us when we face setbacks not to be deterred, because we know there will be setbacks in the whole process. But help us, Lord, to be determined to fulfill the mission that you've given us. And we pray that we'll be able to reach hundreds and hundreds of people with the gospel who do not know you now. That's our heart's desire. So help us to accomplish that. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for touching base and tuning in for today's video. Hope to see you this coming Sunday. It is a national holiday, right? Super Bowl Sunday coming up this Sunday. And hope you join us for worship at 9.30 or 11. In the meantime, have an awesome week and I pray and hope that you are a blessing to everyone you meet. Bye-bye.